Welcome back. Uh, well, uh, to shed more light uh, on uh, the uh, choosing Egypt uh, and uh, Alexandria, especially at uh, the travel platform uh, trip advisor, uh, uh, we have the pleasure to have this uh, phono with uh, Dr. Walid El Battuti, former tourism minister advisor. W good afternoon, Dr. Battuti. Hello. Yes, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I really have the pleasure to be conducting this uh, phono uh, with you. Now, uh, what's uh, your comment on, uh, or how do you see or read the uh, choosing uh, uh, Alexandria as one uh, of the world's most popular tourist destinations for the year 2021? Well, uh, uh, Alexandria lately, uh, 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 they've been doing extremely very good. You know, uh, they had uh, uh, their innovation of uh, some um, um, historical churches and uh, a synagogue over there and uh, you know, uh, the you know the bibliotheque alexandrina uh, the greek roman uh, sites that has been uh, uh, receiving maintenance and uh, facelift uh, so they have done some uh, very good restoration uh, especially as well the um, the roads of alexandria at the Corniche that uh, made it uh, extremely easy to cross from the east to the west. All these things add up to uh, make the, uh, the Mediterranean uh, city, because uh, bear in mind, Alexandria uh, gives you the exact same feeling as well uh, of uh, the Mediterranean, typical Mediterranean uh, city. So um, whenever we used to have a tourist here in Egypt, and if he has an extra day uh, free, he always says, I want to go to Alexandria. Alexandria, as I told you, has the, uh, the library, the Bibliotheque Alexandrina. It has uh, uh, some very nice Greek and Roman sites. Uh, and all the good media and the good reports that has been done over the Greek and Roman sites that has been uh, restored in Alexandria, um, also bearing in mind a very important issue. The Ministry of Tourism and Antiquity, since they had the new site, made it available and easy uh, to log on uh, even for tourists. And they go in and they read. There's lots of very useful information, uh, uh, videos, uh, 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 teasers, some bites. All of this helped a lot. Yes, uh, Dr. Battuti, so many factors, uh, uh, factors were behind uh, choosing uh, Alexandria, uh, being um, um, uh, the Mediterranean city with uh, 40 kilometers uh, on uh, the Mediterranean uh, and uh, the amazing atmosphere of uh, Alexandria, of course. Yes, well, that's what I said, the, uh, yes. the, the weather of Alexandria and again, the, all the positive news. Bear in mind, we've been receiving uh, uh, not just locally, but uh, locally and internationally, uh, and uh, also with the help of the cooperation between uh, uh, the uh, Minister of Immigration and the, uh, the Excellency uh, Nabila Makram and His Excellency Dr. Khaled Al Anani, uh, when they've also uh, worked with the uh, Cypriot and the Greek. Uh, and the Italian community. We used to have a Greek community, an Italian community, and a, a, a secret community uh, that they made it uh, available for them to come and see their old houses, uh, the, uh, uh, where they used to live and all of this. So um, this made a nostalgia with uh, some of the people who wanted to come back and see where their, uh, their grandfather used to live or where their grandfather used to work, or where he used to have a shop for uh, um, uh, a bakery or a pastry shop or this and that. Even for the Egyptians, by the way, um, most of the uh, Egyptians, they like to go to Alexandria uh, for a day or two. Uh, sometimes they go just for over day, and sometimes they go for overnight uh, to, of course, uh, dine in one of the finest restaurants over there uh, and you people used to go for uh, seafood now they go for all kind of food all all kind of food that is provided here egypt has multi cuisines and they go to alexandria and they cater for everyone you could have a family of someone vegetarian and someone eats seafood and someone uh, is a, a meat lover they uh, can have all these meals in one restaurant they have lots of very nice restaurants, 
and then people used to go and walk by the beach. Walking by the, by the Corniche of Alexandria with the fresh air, you know, for a very long time people were in a lockdown uh, 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 or maybe they are not going out because they're afraid of COVID-19, but still uh, they walk. I was recently in Alexandria and I saw myself in uh, uh, one of the hotels that I stayed is how they take in the measurements of the precaution measurements of COVID-19 yeah. that um, <clears throat> even at reception, when you're signing your paper, the pen that you just touched, if you use the pen of the hotel, you throw it in a box that uh, it goes to be sanitized. So it's not used by another customer. And you should see this yourself. And that makes you very comfortable when you check in your room. You'll find they put you two extra masks and they put you a uh, sanitizer and uh, everything is packed. So all of these things, when all these news travel abroad and uh, tourists especially, they come even with a small number, they see these things and they go back home and they write. It encourages others and it makes the destination uh, 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 ready to receive more. Yes, uh, uh, Dr. Batuti, uh, the website had previously in the year 2020 chose the um, um, uh, Egyptian cities of uh, um, uh, uh, chose the capital Cairo and uh, Hurghada uh, for their uh, list in 2020 with Cairo ranking uh, 12 and Hurghada ranking 24. 24. What were the factors by which uh, uh, beyond this uh, choice? Well, to be honest with you, I don't know what is the measurement that they use to uh, put uh, uh, 10 and 24 and 20 and 12 and all of this. All what we know that Cairo has been progressing. Cairo, bear in mind, I'm, I'm assuring you very soon, whoever put this ranking also made a big mistake because Cairo is going to hit uh, 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 the sky very soon. Uh, with the opening of the uh, Civilization Museum, the new Civilization Museum, and uh, the, you know, we recently had the royal uh, carriages, and then the, we're going to have the Grand also Egyptian Museum the, also. Sorry? And the Grand Egyptian Museum also. No, 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 the Grand, I'm coming to the Grand Museum yes, at the yes. end, but uh, for the time being, I'm talking about the, the, the Civilization Museum yes. and the parade, the parade of the royal mummies when it crosses from the uh, uh, the Cairo Museum in Tahrir, uh, and, and it has a long parade. The whole world is waiting for this event till it reaches the uh, uh, Civilization Museum. And then you have, afterwards, you will have the, um, uh, uh, hopefully, inshallah, soon, uh, the, uh, the Grand Egyptian Museum. Bearing in mind, uh, in October and in November, the Ministry of Antiquity and Tourism announced two big discoveries uh, in, uh, that rocked the world in Saqqara, uh, two big caches. And then here we come, Dr. Zahi Hawass, the uh, a great Egyptian uh, um, archaeologist, announced in early January a big cache and uh, a very useful uh, uh, in the field of history and, 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 and solving lots of the puzzles of Egyptian history. All of these things adds up and puts together and make people very anxious to come. You know, people were saying to themselves in October, I want to go to Egypt. And then here you go in November, you tease them by another discovery. And then here we go again in January, you're coming with another one. And to give you something very exclusive, and, you know, the discoveries in Egypt are per the hour now. It's not per day, but it's per the hour. Every day they're working. I'm telling you, there has been something extremely, extremely, and this is exclusive to you, extremely beautiful that has been found this morning. I'm talking of a discovery that soon, you know, they will announce it, uh, maybe a week or two. I'm not entitled to say when, but there's a very big discovery will also be announced. That's something they discovered today. So every day, Egypt is finding new, new stuff and new things and uh, 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 a piece of the puzzle is solved every day. So all of this, the uh, Supreme Council of Antiquity uh, with Dr. Uh, Mustafa Waziri, he announced the, the, the discovery in October and then in November. And then we had this one in January. And I'm telling you, more things coming, uh, more events coming. Egypt is 
in the agenda of the culture of the world heavily. So all of this what uh, makes Egypt uh, uh, attractive and people are ready to come. Yes, uh, Dr. Um, Batuti, uh, there's a very important question that I would like uh, to raise with you. Um, uh, as Egypt um, uh, uh, recently hosted the, the uh, World uh, Men uh, Handball Championship. So uh, when, when Egypt organizes such a great uh, event uh, in light of uh, the challenge of uh, the uh, coronavirus, uh, um, how do you see the importance of this and what is the message uh, uh, Egypt would like to uh, send to the world by organizing this uh, um, uh, championship uh, and uh, showing that Egypt, uh, everything is under control concerning the coronavirus, uh, uh, Egypt is safe. What would you say, what's your comment uh, on this? No, my comment on this, it shows that we're capable of uh, taking a very big challenge in front of the whole world Instead of backing up and saying uh, uh, we better stay on the safe side, we managed to invent a very safe way. And which, are, by the way, others are now following the Egyptian. We become the model. Um, you know, the, the, there is the uh, league that is taking place in Qatar right now. And the Qatari are copying exactly, I repeat the word, I would like to say this and emphasize the Qataris are repeating exactly and copying what we did in Egypt. So we become a role model to how can we, uh, uh, you know, challenge. We are capable. I think this should be the slogan of Egypt. We are a doer. We can do it. And we did it. And thank God the champion went on very successful. Uh, sorry, we... we we didn't make it to the final, but we were defeated by the championship of the world, Denmark, and they deserve it. Our team was the best, okay? And yes. even the Danish team uh, uh, made good remarks about the Egyptians, and they said they were the most difficult and stubborn uh, uh, competitors with them. And especially when you hear the, the players from all over the world, this is a great statement that has been said by all of them. We did not expect to see such very, very, very efficient and passionate way of handling and yes. dealing with the people from the day they arrived to the day they left yes. when it comes to safety. And thank you very much for your time and for your valuable information, Dr. Walid Al Batuti, former tourism minister advisor. Uh, and I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. With this, we come to the end of this episode of our program, Cairo Local Time. I'm Amal Mukhtar. Thank you for watching.